I don't wanna look back, I don't wanna like that I've been going too fast, all the girls like that And the fake ones wanna see my pulse go flat And my day ones know I'ma pay some back I don't Hello and welcome to an episode of Cammy King's Ramble Radio with me and Josh What George, is in my pal Josh Why don't you have to do stupid accents? Because that's, that's, that, that, that's, that's part of my nature. You know, we're, oh. if, we, you're the, you're the... I'm normal, you're, you're weird. No, you're the spastic, I'm the creative. I'm not <laughs> creative. Well, anyway, in today's podcast, uh, we're doing the Premier League predictions, like, top 20, how it is. Given our opinions on certain clubs going down, winning the league, uh, potential, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Potential butthurt opinions coming your way, so if you don't like them, just fuck off, quite frankly. <coughs> I mean, if you're going give, to give us some shit in the comments about our predictions, we'll give you fun. shit back. <laughs> Pretty much. If you don't like your teams in relegation, just face the facts, because that's our opinion. Anyway, take it with a pinch of salt, and let's get on. Do you want to go first or second, Josh, for your... Oh, I will go second. Picks. So the way it works, we'll break them down into categories. We're going to do relegation, which is 20 to 18th, 17th to 13th, like, uh, sort of back-end mid-table. Then we'll do mid-table, which are 12th to 9th, or 12th to 8th. We'll say 9th. And then we'll do 8th, 7th, 6th, and then do top 5. So, getting it on the way, my top 20 in relegation. In 20th will be Norwich. In 19th will be Brentford. And 17th, I'll put what, uh, Burn Burnley. What, what, what happened to 18th? I said Burnley, 18th. No, you said 17th. Ah, uh, sorry. I said 18th, but I should have said. <laughs> so yeah, to uh, relegation will be Norwich, Bur Brentford and Burnley. In my eyes. Now the reason why, Norwich, I'm sorry. But you, you shit. Timo Pukki ain't gonna cut it for you this season. He didn't do it last time you were in a prom. You, you fucking hit like an iceberg, like the Titanic, and you sank. It's just how it's gonna be. You're gonna go back down again. Championships where you belong. Uh, Brentford. I mean, you might lose Tony. If you lose Tony, you're fucked. I don't see you sticking around. You can take Mupe back from Brighton. I'd be very happy with that. Get rid of him. But nah, I don't I don't see see you sticking around. And then Burnley. I always put Burnley near relegation because Sean Dyche is a racist bastard and won't get any foreign players in his team. Because he likes them to be homebred. Sean Dyche! Talk on me. Sorry. You shush. Sorry. And it's only going to work so long, like having English, Irish, and Scottish and Welsh players. It's going to come a time where it just doesn't work. And I think this season could potentially be it, especially if they get fucked with injuries. If, um, what's his name? Pope, uh, Tom Woski, and Matty Cash. Matty Cash, though? I don't know. I don't know. Whoever the right defenders are. If their defenders go, they're, they're screwed. So, yeah, that's my relegation. What's yours? Very similar, apart from one team. What, Burnley? No. My 20th is Norwich. Right. My 19th is Watford. And 18th is Burnley. Ooh. Okay. I, think, I just think Watford aren't going to have a good season. Hey, what are you saying about uh, they haven't, Ben Foster? They haven't got any good players, have they? It's Watford. They got Mark, was it Will Hughes? Mark Hughes? Woo! What's he going to do? They got Troy Deeney. 
Yeah, but... Yeah, fine. You know. What for the relegation and just championship, really, aren't they? And then Burnley just... Burnley are always 18th, 17th or 16th. I don't think they've been any higher. And Let me have a look about Burnley. Norwich is just Burnley. Norwich. Uh, Prem finishes. I want to see where their highest ever placement is. In the Prem. They have... Here we are. Uh, 17... Okay, they've got 10th in the 1920 season. 15th. 7th. Uh, so, in the Premier... Last season they got 17th, season before 10th, season before that 15th, the season before that the 7th in the league, the season before that 16th in the Prem, and then back in all the way in 2009 they got 18th, got relegated. Uh, so yeah. So they're quite a bang average team. They're basically a bit worse version of Brighton. True. Because Bryce are not racist. We we sign Africans, Asians, and everything. We're welcome. Whereas Sean Deitch, he's he's basically a funny bastard. He sounds like Darth Vader on fifty packs of cigarettes a day. <coughs> when I hear his voice, it just gives me fucking shivers down my spine. Do a Sean Deitch impression. <laughs> Fuck off. Do you see mine? Ow! I'll drop my controller. Which is my Sean Dyke impression. Go on. Hi, I'm Sean Dyke. I'm not my dog Tarkovsky. We're going to win the league. Not too bad, eh? If you want to say one thing, but he fucks kids. No, I ain't Sigurdsson. <laughs> or Adam Johnson. True. Or Ryan. Right. Like, Oh yeah, true. I wonder how right, I wonder how long your... it'd take. What? I think in every podcast we've made a joke about him. Every fucking video <laughs> we've ever done. There's a joke about him. <laughs> what are we going? What are we going now? Seventeenth to what? Seventeenth to you, fourteenth, and you're going next. Okay, right. Go on so my number seventeen. Is uh, a team called Brighton. Point. Sixteenth is Wolves. Fifteenth is Southampton. And fourteenth is Newcastle. Now. But you put Wolves sixteenth. Yes. Hear me out. Nuno's left. Yes. Right. But it's with Nuno. Ridiculous. Sticks. Yes, but with Nuno, they were a good team. They were a decent team. I think this. I think this season, relegation battle is going to be Burnley, Brighton, and Wolves. Hence why I put Brighton Wolves down there. Southampton. They they were they were terrible last season. Were you for Southampton fifteenth? Yes. Right. Uh, Newcastle. They're always around mid table, so I just took them in the fourteenth. What do you mean they were seventeenth last year? Yeah, the, yeah, but they seem to do one bad season, one good season. I'm going to put one to 14th. Jesus Christ. What crack were you smoking when you came up with this? Realism, mate. Realism. You're calling that realistic? Yes. Mine's realistic. No, mate. Yours is... Yours is smoking in the fucking hardcore crack with some heroin mixed No, in. You, you were chatting, mate. You waffling. Right, my... My... One right, which is a proper representation of what it should be, is seventeenth Watford, sixteenth Newcastle, fifteenth Brighton where they should belong, and fourteenth Aston Villa. Now, the reason why Watford, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. They just come up. They're not gonna do as good as Leeds. They're going to fight for their place. 
16th Newcastle. I mean, St. Maximilian's a fucking wash up. Can't do much. They've spent 50 mil on Joe Linton, which was a fucking waste. Now, Brighton, 15th. That's good. I mean, we either sign Edward from Celtic or we're going to sign some Portuguese guy from Benfica. Plus, we're looking at getting uh, a couple of other players in as well. Potentially Dan James, which will help us either way. Yeah. Help you what? Hey. He's a good player. Stim. All he can do is all he can do is get his head down and run. Apart from that, he's it, pretty much useless. We need a fast fucking player. You need a winger. Right. You need nothing. a winger who's fast and can put a decent cross in and can take a shot. Dan James can't do that. Don't, he can wor- just run. don't worry. Yeah. He under Graham Potter, he'll be fine. He was <laughs> under Graham Potter before, and he done well. But under Potter again, he'll do well. Mm. Mm. Anyway, 14th, we've got Villa. They're not going to do as good as last season. They've lost Grealish. I was going to put him in relegation, but... I mean... Well, I think you've been a bit harsh. What do you mean? Or Aston Villa. They they've still literally got... got rid of their best fucking player. Yes, but they've, like still saying... got, they've still got a decent team. They've got, a better team. Really. they've got a better team than the likes of Buddy Burnley and Watford. You're and Newcastle. Me... That they've got a good team. Let me have a look. Fucking what? Martinez is gone. Okay, so they got Ashley Young. What does he fucking do? He's he, he, he he still keep the game. game. They got Bailly. Okay, Leon Bailey or Bailly. What? Okay, whatever. Ollie Watkins. Okay, hey. not too bad. Hey. They got who the fuck is this? Wesley Morris. Who the fuck that is? He's that big. Morgan he's that. Sanders. He's the. He's the tall striker. Like a... Well, he's not that great. Danny, oh, they've got Danny Inks, okay. That's a game changer. they got Douglas Louise. I mean, okay, whatever. And Tyree Binks and Big John McGinn. That's it. That's still a decent team, mate. Still a decent team, mate. Their goalkeeper, who the fuck is this? Jed Stitt, who the fuck is this? Their best goalkeeper is a 28-year-old who looks like a twonk. Oh, look at him. I think you've been no, dark, no, me personally. Mate, I've been realistic. That is a realistic. No, I don't know. Not for me. Not for me. Well, is my opinion. I think we're off some wolves. Personally. Mate, wolves have lost. Mate, wolves, 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 Nino. Nino, yeah. I've had a good structure. Yeah. This new manager, just, don't know what he's going to do. Completely mess everything up. We don't know. Anyway, moving on. We're going to go from 13th to 10th now. Okay. So, I'll do mine now. In 13th for me, I've put Southampton. You know. Decent. Placement. I might have been a bit generous there, but hey ho. 12 have gone Crystal Palace. If they keep Zaha and he doesn't get poached, I can see him potentially getting 12. 11th, I've gone Wolverhampton, the Wanderers, which are Wolves if you're not technical with the names. 10th, I've gone Leeds United. Now, Southampton, they do usually get a bit. Mid placement ish. Definitely check that. Southampton. Um, I think they have. There we are. Right. Yeah, so on their placements, like last season, they got 15th, then 11th, then 16th, 17th, then 8th. Then sixth, then seventh, then eighth, then fourteenth. So they sort of finish the top end of the table. So I think little bit thirteenth is realistic if they have a good season. Uh, Palace twelfth, 
Like I said, if Zaha doesn't get injured and stays, they'll do fine. They always do. Fucking scumbags. Uh, Wolves, I mean, their team is literally, apart from Ronaldo, fucking Portugal national team with a few random people, but they'll be fine. Even under a new manager, you're telling me Semedo, um, Rui Patricio, uh, who else have they got? Say, oh, hang on, who have Wolves got? You're telling me the likes of Adam Traore, Raul Jimenez, Pedro Neto, Ruben Neves, Semedo, uh, Rui Patricio, Matt Chantinho, Connor Cody, and Podence aren't going to keep them fine. I still say nah. 16. <clears throat> I think even with a new manager, they've still got a decent team to whip most of the, most of the players like in no positions. They'll fuck Brighton over. They always do. And don't go, oh, Brighton can get fucked by any team. Wolves always screw us over. Happened twice last season. And then in tenth, I went with Leeds. Now Leeds, I think came ninth last season. Uh, yeah, came ninth last season. So I think potentially they'll do it again. They've got a strong strike force. They'll be fine. Right, Bamf yours? Bamford's gonna win in the league. I mean. That Rafinha would be fine for him anyway. True. Anyway. anyway. Bit, a little bit similar to yours. Similar to yours. <clears throat> my, my number 13. What well, position 13 is Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Right. 12th is Leeds. 12th is Leeds. 11th. 11th. This is going to be This is going to amaze you. This is going to amaze you. I put Brentford. Oh, Brentford. Are you smoking the crack? Uh, tenth, I've no, gone Everton. Tenth, I've gone Everton. What shit have you been smoking? Well, you think about right. Well, you think about right. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Good game, bad game. Good game, bad game. Leeds. 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 Leeds mid table. Leeds. Mid table. Leeds. Nah, they they they'll finish not like ninth or tenth. Brentford. Brentford. I, re I reckon Brentford I re I reckon are going to do something this season. <laughs> I've got I've got a I've sneaky got, feeling they're going to have a... The start of the season is probably a bit edgy. But they've got... Ar Mate, but the whole fucking Ar season's going to be edgy. Oh no, because they've got Arsenal no, the first game of the season. That's an easy win. Yeah, Arsenal mid-table team, what are you saying? I reckon Brentford are going to pull something off this season. I reckon Brentford are going to surprise us. They're not going to do a Leeds. I reckon they're going to surprise us. I reckon us. they're going to surprise us. Oh, mate. And then 10th, Everton. And then 10th, Everton. Pickford's, Pickford's terrible. Pickford's terrible. Have you seen... Uh, you, uh, you, mate, you have, 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 you, have you seen what, have what you happened? Seen what, what happened? With, with Pickford against United. With Pickford against United. <laughs> Literally, Pickford... Euros, yes, for the Euros. Yes, for the Euros. Everton. Everton. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, rubbish. He's rubbish. And they've lost Sigurdsson, who's one of their best of free kick takers. Well, yeah, he was fucking good. So he has to and locked up. Everton is just Everton, isn't it? You used to support Everton. I used to as a kid. To the boy. But yeah, that's outrageous. Well, not really. Not when you think about the teams that. Decent teams and the transfers that have happened in those teams that are above in the top ten. It makes sense. But you think you think you think about Arsenal, right? They're most likely going to get Bernardo Silva. They're most likely going to get that. Um, sure, the most li <clears throat> most likely going to get Trippier and probably a couple of other players. Now they're going to be sorted. Wait, Arsenal want Bernardo Silva. 
Mate, they're basically going to get him. What, the Man City Bernardo Silva? Yes. They're basically what, already getting him. That's why that's that's why Man City aren't in the top two for me. Just a bit of a hint. <laughs> what? Man City aren't in my top two. You better you better have two other teams. One being blue, one being red. Maybe. Well, anyway, what is your? Hang on. Ninth to seventh. Right. My number ninth uh -huh. is Aston Villa. Now, I'm, I'm going to start with I know they've lost Greenish, but they still have a better team than the likes of Crystal Palace, Leeds, you know, uh, Southampton, Newcastle. So they're going to finish above them. But then, then since losing Greenish, they haven't got as good team as like a Spurs have. So they're going to be below them, so in the middle of them. That's why, that's why I put them ninth. Did someone hit you over the head with a baseball bat when you were writing this? An eighth. Eighth, I've got Arsenal. Because they're just bang average. Pepe flopped. Bamiang's flopped. Lacazette's flopped. Leno is probably the best player they've got. They get Bernardo Silva. Maybe something can happen. But I can't say it with the likes of the top seven. My um, number seven, mm -hmm. I've gone with West Ham. Right. That's, that's, that's it. Why have you gone West Ham? Well, obviously Lingard isn't going to West Ham. Obviously. But I reckon, even though he's not there, I reckon the half the season they had last year, when they were good, I reckon they could they could they could build on that. So that's why I put them in. I reckon they'll do better than Arsenal. So that's why I put them in seventh. And from what happened last season, it could happen. Fair enough. Blue, I think. Hang on, let me have a look at mine. So, quickly going down, so you went Aston Villa, West Ham there. Or, or, or Arsenal. Arsenal. At eighth. Okay, okay. For me, number nine will be Everton. I mean... The team is ridiculous. As it is. Apart from like Seamus Coleman, Yerry Mina, like if they can get some defenders for them, iron out a few cracks, even though they have lost six into jail. Uh um, like Pickford's like arms have been chopped off since the World Cup since the Euros. Anyway, since They've got, even like a ship team, they've got DCL, they've got fucking, uh, what's his name, Charleston, Decore, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll get ninth. Eighth have gone West Ham. Purely because Jesse Lingard's left. I still think they'll be fine, but not top seven, like you've said. I feel like they're going to get the fan. Don't out. tell me you've put Arsenal seventh. <laughs> no. It, oh, so you put, you you put Arsenal in the top six. Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got you kicked off by mine. They got Ben White, mate. They're getting top six. So anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should have put the relegation then. Oh, you fuck you. What you were slating him? Yeah, you were slating him yesterday. Oh, I'm gonna take yeah, my poofy stone. He, 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 he snaked us. <laughs> Well, yeah, he snaked us. He was a bro he's uh, Southampton born, but came through Brian Academy. Yeah, and he, he wants, stay to, he wants, to, he wants to improve his career. He can't do that at Brian because he ain't going to win anything. Shut up. You know, it still pains me seeing his poster on my wall when he's in the Brian kit. Pains me to see. But, you know, he, he's going to do some wonders in the fence. But anyway, so as I was saying, seventh will be Spurs. 
I mean, if you saw the Euros, and if you didn't see the Euros, you're a fucking twat. Kane ain't all that anymore. I don't give a shit if you say he's the best striker in the world or whatever. You need to get a fucking head smash. Well, can I just say one thing? What? He was, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe he was one goal away from winning the Golden Boot for the Euros. Mate, you didn't score like two goals. No, he scored three. Oh, whoops. I think Ronaldo. Was it Ronaldo scored four? Oh, no. I can't remember if it's three or four that the top scorer was. But I'm pretty sure Kane scored three. And he was one off one in the golden boot. Well, as I'm saying, right, when there's all this hype with Kane, you know, Kane even might go. He might even go to the city. There's no, it's like, 100%. Certainty that he's going to stay at Tottenham for this season, but look at last season. What they finished was it eighth. Yeah, I but mean, <clears throat> you know, you got to rebuild. I honestly think Tottenham are a funny one. I don't see them getting top six this season. Especially the fact, like, the half of their team's above 30 now. Yeah, but they got quality players. Yeah, look at Lloris. Yeah, he's, he, Lloris is decent. They got a decent. De- they got a decent defense. They got um. They got a, they got a, a pretty decent midfield, and they're attacking from three. You got Son, Kane, Lucas, a couple of others. You know, they're they're, they're all right. What I'm saying is, though, they don't. You, well, last season they didn't get top. Yeah, but last season was a weird season. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, though, you've got to think they've done a whole year without fans and now they're having fans back. It's going to it boost might them. Throw them off. Or it could completely fuck them up psychologically. Nah, mate, I don't know what you're waffling about. You think you've gone from a whole year of silence to then hearing like... Yeah, have you seen how have you seen how the football has changed since the fans have started to come back in? I got way more entertaining. You know, the, play, the football games have been way better. The teams have performed better. I don't think one team's performed bad, like like worse than what they did when they had fans on the ground. If anything, it gives them it be, it's better for them. Oh no, I just don't see Spurs doing it this year. Clearly you fucking do, but that's a different story. Right, hit me with your sixth, fifth and sixth. Right, right, number six is Spurs. And my number four, number five, sorry, is um, is Liverpool. Huh? Yep. Liverpool. Put Liverpool fifth. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Can we take the blame? Uh, majorly. Three reasons. Actually, four reasons. One S- hate Scousers. Salah. Oh, five reasons. Salah. Yeah, I don't know what's happened, but he's just invisible now. They've lost Wijnaldum. Van Dijk has not recovered from his injury, and if anything, it's... No, Wijnaldum. Oh. They've lost Wijnaldum. Van Dijk has been out injury, and the injury's completely messed him up. I've watched Liverpool's pre-season, and Van Dijk is absolutely terrible. Alisson. I don't know what's happened to Alisson, but sorry, he can't make a save. And the fifth reason, I hate the Scousers. Wow. Well, so rude. Who, who, what fucking tip, who have you put in your top four? Hmm. My top four is logical in a way. But so you've gone, Le- you've gone Leicester, Chelsea, City, United. What shit are you smoking? Is there a reason behind it, mate? 
Huh, okay. My fifth and sixth, sixth I've gone Arsenal. And I'm just going to scrape a top six with Ben White, you know. The defence was shit before, but be add Ben White. It's basically like I did another Thiago. So never, 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 but he was his name, David Luiz to the team. Big hype, big Wait, flop. Slangest piece of shit. Ben White is a decent defender. Why for him, I think Bryson would have conceded double amount of goals. <laughs> it's true. How many, right, whenever Bryson had someone attacking against him, if it wasn't for Lamperty before he got in injured, or Veltman, it was Ben White tracking back and blocking the, the shots or putting them off. I don't see fucking Lewis Dunk or Dan Byrne or Webster running back and trying to get there. It was usually Ben White who got in the challenge. You also so, got. You've also got to remember, Arsenal's a different kind of grade to Brighton. Yeah, but you know, Brighton, Brighton, are, on... Brighton are a team that sit back. No offence, but they are a team that will sit back and hit you on the break. Arsenal are a team that will eat that even it out. They don't sit back, but they don't go play, play forward. Yeah, but that's what he did with Leeds. Yes, but what, but what I'm saying is, Leeds and Brighton are basically the same team. Not really. If Arsenal, there's going to be... There's not going to be as many players protecting him, is what I'm saying. It's Brighton... Yeah, you're back four, and then you basically had your entire midfield in, right in front of them. For Arsenal, that's going to that's not going to be the same. So I don't, I don't. It's a different gravy. Bright, Brighton's bloopy gravy, Arsenal's runny gravy. No, Brighton are concrete, and Arsenal are down with a leaky crack. <laughs> Well, add Ben White in that, they become thick gravy. Mm -hmm. should be. Funny. Gravy should be thick. Quick side note, how would you take your gravy on a Sunday roast? Like, not runny, not thick, in the middle. So you like yours, I like mine like custard. Nice oh. and thick. And that's what I think Arsenal is going to be like. Anyway, my fifth will be Leicester. I'm going to piss myself if Brentford slap Arsenal on the first game of the season. <laughs> I will. I, you'll be the first one to know about it. Trust me. I can care as Arsenal, apart from Ben White. Anyway, my fifth will be Leicester. I mean, I think they got fourth last year, did they? Yes, they did. They be. West, was it West? Yeah, it was West, West Ham, I think it was. Let me have a look. So, last year... Oh, no, they got fifth. Okay. So, basically, I'm putting them in the same place to finish last year, like they did this season. Um, I mean, Jamie Vardy's got a year older now. It's going to pay a toll, that one extra year. He's still a decent half player, their, though. Half their team, though, you know, what the fuck? What do you mean? still playing. Well, you got what's the name? Mate, you got Schmeich Schmeichel. He's great. He's great. Did you not see the save he made against C? Hang on, let me check something. Schmeichel, thirty-four years old. Yeah, but goalkeepers uh, can go for a long time before they actually started. Vardy is thirty-four, getting on a bit now. You okay? So what? From apart from Harvey Barnes and D D, Vardy and Madison, they haven't got like standout players. They got Sionchu, he's a decent defender. They got what they got Pereira. Uh where is that? On here. He's not he's not on here. From what I can see I've got Vardy, Madison, Ian Acho, Fafana, Shamichael Sionchu, Daka, is that how you say it? Tielemans Su Sumari Shaldery. Barnes, Didi, Bertrand, Amasi, Thomas. How the fuck you say this? Jehazel? Jehazel? Yeah, they got a they got a good they got a good team. Johnny Evans, Danny Ward, Castan, um 
I use Perez. Prate, Pritt, Pratt, I don't know if I can say his name. All Brighton. Justin, Mendy, Jakubovic, and Ben Benakovic. They got they got they, they got deal. So I I seem to get a if if James Vardy gets injured, they're fucked. If he doesn't get injured, they'll get fifth. I mean, I don't, don't really care about Lister, but hey ho. James Vardy shit with FIFA anyway, doesn't do anything for me. Right, who's your fourth, third, and leave your top two? What are we doing, fourth, fourth to first? Fourth to third. We'll leave just top two. Some suspense. Well, it's gonna be obvious. You might have to do all four. Well, no, you'll leave your top two, and then you know it's a bit of suspense while I do mine. Okay. Right, my number four is Leicester. Uh, and my number three is Man City. What? Absolutely. Hear me out. Will you Hear me out. Leicester have already beaten Man City. So beat them in the champ to beat them in the community shield. I watched that game. Man City were absolutely crap. Leicester looked Leicester looked very good. Right. Hence why I put Leicester fourth. Man City I don't think they're gonna do as good as what they did last season. I can't, I can't say. Yes, they got Grealish. But Grealish could always flop. You don't know what you could do. They won the league last year. Yeah, I know. But look at Liverpool. They won the league and they came fifth off whatever last year. But that's Liverpool. Because they, they got heavily injury fucked. But you got to think, Man City, if, say, they lose Cancelo, they've got Kyle Walker. If they lose Shinchenko, they can play Kyle Walker out there. Or they can play Cancelo. Or they can play one of the youngsters. If they lose a midfield like De Bruyne for five weeks, don't worry, we'll just chuck in Bernardo Silva there. Oh, if we lose Sterling, we'll chuck Bernardo Silva there, or you can chuck Bernardo Silva. Not, Bernardo Silva's not there anymore. Doesn't he's, he? That's where he is. No, he's going to Arsenal, you pillock. Yeah, but not definitely, is it? No, it's most likely going to happen. But I can't. It says here. I don't see them doing as good as what they did last season. Okay, look, Man City is set to offer Bernardo Silva for um, Harry Kane plus cash. Well, that's not what I read to. 150 mil for fuck off. Kane's not worth 150 million. He is because he's English. Uh, I'm worth 20, uh, 20, pounds just because I'm English and I'm fat. Woo. That's how football works nowadays. Like English players saying. are worth more. That's why they got. That's shit. why. That's why a hundred million was paid for Jack Grealish. That's why we paid eighty million to get Maguire, because English players are worth more nowadays. That's why Arsenal paid sixty million for Ben White. That's why we only paid forty-five to get Rivaram, one of the best centre backs in the world at the minute. That's why we paid eighty million, or whatever much played for Jaden Sancho. English players are just expensive. It's the way football is. Football's a messed up world, mate. Anyway. Did I do my top four? I can't remember. No, I don't think you did. Uh, hang on. Phone's gone off. Right, here we go. Top four. Fourth, I've gone Chelsea. I don't think that Thomas Shuckle or whatever his fucking name is. I can care to try and pronounce his name. Thomas Tuchel. That's it, I don't care. We call him Tom. That's easy to remember. I don't think he's going to win. Yeah, he won the Champions League. So what? I mean, 
they're not no notoriously like that good. Yeah, but you got to remember, Thomas Tuchel only had half a season, and he won two trophies in that half a season. Name me one yeah, manager that's come in halfway through a season and took a terrible team to win the Champions League and pl- and climb. I think they went from 10th to whatever. They climbed like five, six spaces in half a season. Name me one manager that's climbed that many spaces and won Champions League in half a season. When, and when, when it first came to January, they were absolutely dead in the water. I'll probably, oh, hmm. I'll probably say Poch. But, he, he, I don't you know, he's not one. Shit, uh, oh. What about Pep? Didn't he got halfway through you? We have a look. Uh, let me have a look here. Uh, Pep joins. Uh, uh, July first. Okay. All right. He didn't join halfway through the season, but. He's done pretty well for City. Yes, but I'm all about in in the first half season. Because he didn't start he didn't start halfway through the season. So did he? But did he win anything in his first season? We'll have a look. He came third in the. No. There you go. Not even Pep. Okay, Third in Prem, semi final in the FA Cup, qualifying rounds of the Champions League, and fourth round in the FL Cup. So you can't name me a manager that's done what two shots done? Well, in his second year, he won the Prem. Yeah, his second the FL, year. The FL Cup. Well, I don't matter. Chelsea getting fourth. Even if they sign Lukaku, which is stupid. I don't know why he's going back to Chelsea. I see it's going to its up from. Uh, you're going to say third. Third for me is Liverpool. You know, Van Dijk will pick up. I don't, think, I don't think he will, mate. Van Dyke will pick it up. Plus, you got Joe Gomez, Trent, Robertson. Anderson might find his feet again. Might not. They will get uh, a replacement fielder. Will they? Enough. Will they? Yeah, it's Liverpool. Yeah, it's been half. It's been, they... it's been half the, half the transfer window, and you've not had one peep out of Liverpool about buying anyone new. Yeah, they're, they're silent fuckers until until it's done. You won't hear anything until it's confirmed. Yeah, but there's not even been any rumours of this, that and that. And you always get yeah, rumours with every team. They put in, bid in for Basuma. Yeah, that's Basuma. What's he going to do with Lee? Mad. You, you never know. Did you see screamers at the Amoks? Yeah, that was lucky. That was one hit wonders. That was lucky, l- uh, l- lucky little shots. Done it a few times, thank you. As good as Pogba when he takes a shot. Anyway, who's your top two? Well, my number two. I reckon. Yeah. I reckon they're going to do. They're, they're going to do quite well this season, figuring that he's had a transfer window, and they'll actually have a proper season. You know, Man United. But Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. No, no. And then I put the boys. I put the boys. <laughs> you put Man United to win the league. To win the league. Truth for a couple of reasons. 
You got Jaden Sancho. And we got Varane. And potentially a midfielder. And Pogba will stay. Because Messi's going to PSG. And we've got the best player in the fucking world, Marcus Rashford. True. Because he's had his surgery, he'll be 100%. Mate, he's got a bionic fucking... Was it a shoulder? Or whatever. Something like that, yeah. Trust me, he's going to come in with a metal arm, bitch slap the fuck out of the opponents. And you think, our pre-season, we've, we've, we've won every game. We did, no, we lost QPR. Take that back, we lost, Q, we lost against QPR. Or we triggered against QPR. We beat, won our first we game. We won our first game, lost our second. We beat... Who was our second game against? Third game against? Can't remember. Everton. No, Brentford. No, Brentford. I thought it was Everton. No, Everton was our fourth game. I swear it was. Anyway. I thought it was Everton. Anyway. And we slapped Everton 4 0. So. And that, was, that wasn't even with the. Well, that was with Matic in there, Buddy Matter in there, and whatever not. That wasn't even without. That was without Varane and Sancho. We still slapped them 4 0. So yeah, I got a sneaky feeling. We're gonna win the league. Well, anyway, as you can also tell by my list, I've got the two Manchester clubs in my top two. Now, is Manchester going to be red, or is it going to be blue? Which do you think, Josh? Oh, I think you've got blue. I think you reckon City are going to win it again. You are... incorrect. Mm. I have put City to come second. Usually, they win one thing. They drop a place, maybe two. Then they win something again. Or they go back to back. Now, it happened in, I think, 15, 16. And then the year after, they went back to back. I don't know. Man United, you know, if we get Ronaldo on a 25 mil deal to the PSG, you're talking Rashford, Ronaldo, Sancho, Pogba, Cameraman, Cam, 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 what's the name? Cameraman Vinga, I think so, so that French Donny in uh from Leon or whatever it is. And say Fred in the midfield with Shaw, Varane, Maguire, Juan Basaka and Dean Henderson in goal. That's a fucking solid team. But it will be the hair, but I don't like the hair. It was my my choice. But I see Man United winning the league. I still want Oli to be sacked because I don't like him as a manager. But I do think we'll win this season. How can you not with... like your manager if he wins? If he wins and stuff, it doesn't he looks make like sense. A lost fucking child. When he does an interview, he looks like a kid that's been caught from nicking the, from the sweet jar. Well, wouldn't you? Like... Wouldn't you? When you go from playing a bloody no, 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 Norwegian team to be one of the biggest clubs in the world. Well, I wouldn't look like I'm fucking lost and stumble on every question that's asked to get into me. But no, I don't. I don't it's either going to go two ways. It'll either be uh, Manchester's blue or red, or London's blue or. Blue or Oh, that's not going to win. It'll either be Chelsea, City or United who win. I don't see Liverpool winning the league. Not for another 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking shit cunts. But no. Nah. Liverpool, you, you, you're washed. I can guarantee one thing. What? PSG are going to win their league and win the Champions League. Why? 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 Yeah. What do you mean, why? They've never won in the Champions League. Mate, 
They've got Neymar and Bappe and have Messi up front. Are you, are you having a laugh? Mate, Messi ain't gonna go to PSG. He's go, mate. He's already done. Is it? He, he's already done. He's already said his bye. He's already said his farewells to Barcelona to go to PSG. Have you not seen it on TikTok? Him sitting crying, saying goodbye. No, I've not been on TikTok in the last few days. This, he's, 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 he went. He said his goodbyes. He's been crying. He's. he's anyway, let's use. Def- let's use this bit of podcast. It's usually we go on for about two hours to talk about some transfers. What's your opinion on Ronaldo going to either Juventus, sorry, PSG, or back to Man United? He's going to stay at Juventus. Are you sure? Positive. Do you know why? Why? Well, we've not sold anyone. We ain't going to sell Pogba. We bought Sancho for Ryan if by midfield and we ain't got no money left to spend, so we're not going to come to United. PSG aren't going to be able to afford them because they're going to be paying Messi, bloody God knows how much a week. They've already got Mbappe, which they have to give a new contract. They've got Neymar, there's nowhere for him to play. He's not going to get the money. He's going to stay at Juventus. And there's nowhere for him to go at United though. either, even if we do buy him. PSG have got a mad team. Just imagine they play a 4 2 4 formation. They have, like, well, their defence is a bit of shit. Like, Bernat. Uh, don't know who the right back is. It'd be um, forensic. He's closed. Oh, he's fucking washed. But their attack, like, their midfield, Ferrati and. Uh, who's the other midfielder? Herrera. Okay, not the best. But that front fourth, they do Neymar, Messi, Mbappe up top, and then Di Maria on the right. For that squeaky bum time. I tell you which player I'm surprised no one's tried to buy. Who's that? Donnarumma. He's gonna be a sheep. No, I'm. I. I was like six for eight or something. He's massive. Did you not know he's gone to be a sheep? Well, no. I don't watch French football, do I? That was that was all over TikTok. Because he had 2026 on his signed shirt thing when he did his announcement. And his um, club number is like 50 or something. Or something stupid. Or 99 or something like that. I think it's 99 actually. The thing is, Don Drew, he's he's such a good goalkeeper. I don't care what what anyone says about Neuer to stay again or black. Don Rumor, this pre- this current day is the best goalkeeper in the world right now. I'll tell you what, he's fucking stupid on FIFA. You whack him in your team, and you're basically fine. I'll tell you another scary motherfucking goalkeeper. Uh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? To Stegen. Um, nah. Nah. Uh, me personally, I think just taking a stop. Flop, sorry. Flop, sorry. Not seeing Messi at Barcelona. It'd be weird. It'd be weird. Do you remember the Lionel Messi, the M- M- MSN song? No. The use of. No. Oh, how do you not remember this? Let's get this up. Do you know where it is? Now get out of the way. I was just a score. You don't remember this? Away, no. Then twist it on the floor. What do you say? Oh, it was basically a song about Neymar Suarez Messi. It was called Emerson. Um, that's how it's the thing, like, in the last, say, six years or five years, all three of them have just gone. Like, when you say to Barcelona, oh, yeah, what's your main attraction point? Oh, we got Messi. What are they going to say now? Oh, we've got Coutinho. Ooh. they got Ousmane Dembele. 
No, they got Griezmann, mate. But watch out. Wait, Griezmann. Griezmann's a flop. If we did a La Liga predictions, I'm I'm putting Barcelona like fourth. This is annoying as well because Barca used to be a good team. When you think when they had like all oh, throughout the years, Eto, Omri, Satan, uh, Messi, everything like that, they're stupid. Now, when you think of them, not even their meant to be loyalist player wants to stay with them. Mate, do you know? Do you know it's been there since he was seventeen? Yeah, been there for 21, 21 years. He's 35. He's been there for 17 years. I've been there for 21. He's been there... Well, we can't have. Mate, look, up, look it up online. He's 35. He's been there 21 years. Fuck it all. He's literally been there his entire life. Near enough. He doesn't want to be there no more. Not really his choice, though, is it really? The club can't afford to keep him. When you pay your main fucker one million one hundred thirty-five thousand a week, it's a bit fucking outrageous. Well, he deserves it. He's probably the second second best player in the world, nearly potentially third. Yeah, but Ronaldo doesn't even get that. All right, let's get a couple of transfers. What do you think about Tuan Zebi going on loan to Villa? Probably the best thing for him. He ain't getting the game to United, and he's not going to get the game to United. Probably the best thing for him. Okay, what about... Christian Romero to Tottenham? Mm. He's a centre-back uh, from Atlanta. I don't really know much about him. So he, they spent 40, his market value is 22 mil and they paid 42 mil. Probably a bit of a flop. Probably. But he does pretty well in the Serie A. Yeah, Serie A is slow pace though. Compared to the Prem. Let's get another good one. Fucking hell. Messi's market value is only 60 mil. Jesus. Uh, trying, to get, trying to get the good ones and not the shit motherfuckers. Okay, what about Danny Ings at Aston Villa from Southampton? It was 17 mil market value, but they paid 29 mil. Well, they had to replace some. They had to replace Grealish with someone. No, it's not the best replacement, but it's a decent enough replacement. How old is Danny Ings? Let's have a look. 20, he's only 29. Yeah, so, so he's not 30 yet. Yeah. I've always about 35. No. No. God, he's been around years. He's been Bournemouth, Burnley, Liverpool, Southampton, Aston Villa. Fuck hell. No. I personally think it's a bit of a weird move. I would have stayed in Southampton. But hey oh, what about Leon Bailey from Bayer Leverkusen to Aston Villa? It's a good thing for Aston Villa. Because they got a decent player who wasn't really getting any game time anyway. Um, I think Jesus Christ, Aston Villa. Hang on a second. He can play left winger, central tackle midfielder, central forward, striker, right winger, Right wing back or left wing back? Jesus. Do you know? Do you know? See, well, I put Aston Villa quite far up because the team they've got and the paid players they're buying, they're gonna they're gonna have a good shot at it this year. No, I haven't checked the transfer market for about two weeks. Okay, you know. Right, let's get a couple of more. I uh, don't care about him. Alright, funny funny meme. For a million pounds, Joe Hart to Celtic. No, Joe Hart's just probably the worst goalkeeper. What's he going to do? Fucking do the head, shoulders, knees, and toes dance in Celtic. 
sponsored by Head and Shoulders. I mean, I swear, ever since he's done that campaign, his goalkeeping skills has just gone downwards. True. Did he have injury that caused it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got an injury. I think that's what caught. That's what done it. All I know is ever since I saw him on the TV with a shampoo bottle in his hands, he's gone downwards. But it is funny that the fact he went from City to Torino. Hang on. Let me get his career up. He's gone Man City, Torino, West Ham, back to City from loan, out to Burnley, to Tottenham, now to Celtic. Jesus. Talk about being being passed around like a oh no. Like a joint or something or a cigarette. Anyway. Next one. Uh Cannon Fodder, don't get back you, don't get back you. What to spoke about being my uh Hmm. Okay, what about Ariola from PSG to West Ham? Wasn't Ariola at Fulham? Yeah. Well, he was basically PSG owned him still. They loaned him out to Fulham, he gets relegated. He's gone back to PSG and they've loaned him straight out to West Ham. Mm. I I'll rate Ariola. I did the ring. It kind of reminds me of the um. Oh, it kind of reminds me of a Jack Butler back in the day. But he was oh, when he wasn't he's... the best, but he was a very very good goalkeeper for like a like a low end team. Do you remember Jack Butler on FIFA sixteen or seventeen? Yes, because I used to have him. He's a fucking pe- no. You had Begovic. I was one of the Begovic one, yeah. I had Butland. Them two keepers were a pain in the fucking arse. Right, do you know... Um... Do I know? I no, there's a different player. Do you know someone called Daniel Malan? No. Wait, isn't that the PSV player? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. I didn't realise, but he's gone to Dortmund. Is he? Yeah. Well, I mean, they have to get someone to replace Sandra, don't they? Um, yeah, he went to Dortmund for 25 mil. Just a replacement for Sancho, that's probably not going to work out as well as what they expected it to. He'll probably flop. If there's anything like Van der Beek, right. Jesus. I honestly don't know why we still... Half our midfields, I question. Like, I've got a poster of Wayne Rooney on my wall. But I'm literally looking at the most B-Tech version of Man United I've ever seen. Apart from Memphis to pay, he's coming to his light now, but Man United is terrible. Bastian Schweinsteiger, Daily fucking Blind, Morgan Schneidlin, and Juan Mata. What the fuck do you call that for a midfield? And then we signed Fellaini and Phil Jones. How the fuck does Phil Jones and Fellaini go, oh yeah, let's go from, say, Everton or Hull or whatever to Man United? See, I kind of like, I kind of rated Fellaini. He had his, he had his, he had his useful, useful moments. Yeah, you know, you draw, being scored. draw in in the last eight, ten minutes, you whack him on, long balls forward, he gets head on it. Phil Jones is pointless. How the fuck do we still keep giving him a new contract? I honestly don't know. I mean, just fucking rip his contract. He literally looks like Boris Johnson when he's tackling that kid when he runs. And that's not a good look. (laughs) 
Alright, we'll do last one. So be out of our world to a Saudi Arabian tomb. Well, I mean, he's finished at, he's finished at Tottenham, wasn't he? It was more the fact there's no uh, none of the old defenders. You don't have for Tonga, I don't think. No, he went, he went a couple of seasons ago. Yeah, so you don't have him. You don't have Art of Wild now. I'd rather go home for a bit. Yeah, they have to bring a couple of, a couple of defenders in. Right. I didn't know this. Did you know Eric Lamela has gone to Sevilla? Isn't he the Argentinian? Yeah, that was at Tottenham. Mm-hmm. Well, at Seville? He... Yeah, to Seville. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I mean, a bit of a weird one. He left on a free transfer. I think Mbappe will be free next year. Imagine he goes to Man United. If he leaves, if he, if he leaves, <laughs> guarantee you one place he'll go. Where's that? City. Mate, imagine Rashford, Mbappe, and Sancho. That would be a fucking it's saucy mad to think, It's mad to think Mbappe's only 19. He's not. He is. Hey Siri. I don't even think he's 20 yet. Hey Siri. How old uh-huh. is K- Kylian Mbappe Lauten? Kylian Mbappe has zero goals, one assist, zero yellow I didn't cards, ask for that. He's 22. He's 22? I swear he's 19. No. It says here, born December 20th, 1998. God, I'm older than Mbappe. Fuck you, yeah, now. It makes me feel old, though, when you see, like, these 16, 17-year-old footballers and you're just thinking, what the fuck did I do with my life? And you see these little twats getting, like, 50 grand a week. And there's me not making that in three years' worth of salaries. Oh, look, Greenwood, mate, he's only 19. 18, 19. Greenwood's 20. Oh, 20, whatever. <laughs> well, look at Rashford. Rashford's literally a day older than me. Could be far apart. Yeah, he's got his own book out. He's got his own company. First team football for United. You know, he has his own charity. And what am I doing? Planning on getting tattoos galore. Sorry, right. when you turn 55, you'll be riding Harley Davidson with a big bushy beard and covered in tattoos with a black, black, nice black jacket on. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. What do you think I was going to say? Something else. That's how I see myself when I'm like 50 odd. Mate, I honestly don't think you're going to get a tattoo, being honest. I will. You, you don't commit. I don't like, commit because I, I don't commit because I don't know what I want. That's what I'm saying. When you got to, when you know, like, for instance. But I know what I want. I'll, I'll get it. I just don't know what I want. I'm either. getting a wolf. So I, I don't want to. See. I don't want to get one like you, where you've just gone with a favourite cartoon, because it's just, it's, it's pointless. It doesn't mean anything. It does. I what is, like a spaceship. What is, what is your, what is Kit, what is Kit going to mean in 20 years time? What are you going to tell them, oh, it's it my favourite cartoon? It's a childhood memory. That's when it. When I was getting my face plummeted by kids at school, and getting kicked downstairs, and the only enjoyment I had in my life was knowing the fact I had, there was a made-believe car, that was his best friend to the Cuban, and that's what I wanted more was a friend, or not getting beaten to a pulp. And that is what it means to me is my little yeah, it... bit of enjoyment <laughs> while my life was shit. Yeah, but people look at it and go, people look at people look at that, 
it's and go to why, to why understand I'm... what it means to what it means to them. If to me, it's a more psychological thing. Like, look how gassed I get over the intro of hearing the dum 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 that bit. I get excited because I've got happy memories. Well, not happy, but like memories of sitting down on the sofa, eating my little Chicago town pizzas or eating a microwaveable meal, watching my Night Rider with even like a bloody nose, or whatever. Because that was my enjoyment on a Friday after a horrible week at school. But there's more things like you see these twats who get like. A fucking Pac-Man tattooed on them. I I know eating. Yes, something you'd go on, yeah. No, but it's got to have a more meaningful. Like, so you've got my cousin's names, you've got my family star signs, I'm getting a tree of life, which is like meaning you're got you're strong. You you you've got like wisdom. You've got strong family ties, and you keep your world gravitated like all your family gravitated around one person. You deal with all their problems. See, my tattoos are more meaningful. Whereas you, you won't commit to any, like, the tattoos because you'll probably think of, like, oh, yeah, I'll get this. And two weeks later, you'll hate it. Yeah, because I don't know what I want. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you'll ever be in the stage of getting one. I will. Nah. If you don't get one done by the age of 25... I don't see you getting one. See, I don't want to make the mistake of getting something that I ain't gonna like. Well, I've not made that mistake. Hence why I won't get anything that I used to like as a kid, because I know I'm not like it. Or hence why I won't get a United thing on me, because in 20 years I might not like it anymore. What's wrong with getting something when you were a kid, like, I don't know. Because it's just it's re- stupid. It's not stupid. If it brought you enjoyment and it's a fun memory of yours... You don't get tattooed on you. Well, I do. Not in modern day. Maybe 20 sure, years ago, it? yeah. But modern you day, you just... You modern day, you don't get your favourite cartoons tattooed on you, do you? It's just not what happens nowadays. Well, I'm getting... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of getting next time. A spy, half Spider Man, half Iron Man tattoo. So one side is Iron Man's. Mark see, you're going to be able to see. This, see, this is, this is where I can all, already see what your life's going to turn out to be. That's not harsh. Just being the truth. But you're going to be, a, you're going to be a, you're going to be something I call a comic single. Why you cheeky bastard? You know, you cover up in tattoos and you marvel and whatever, not, and it's going to put most girls off. Yeah, well, the problem is, I don't like most girls. Like, I don't like going on Tinder and whatever. You know the girl I like. Yeah, but that ship sailed, mate. What do you mean, it's sailed? I'm being honest, I'm being, truthful as a fr- I'm being truthful as a friend. That ship has sailed. Nah, mate, you saw the harbour. You can't, you can't oh, tie yourself like that. You can't tie yourself down that for something that's not going to happen. I can and I will. I mean, you can do it, but I've been honest as a friend here. It's, it's, the more you tie that down, next couple of years, the more learning you're going to get, the more the down the pressure you're going to end up being. Mate, I'm already depressed and down. It can't get any worse. Well, it, it, it will if you. All I'm saying is, there's going to be a point in your life where you realise that. You know, the ship has gone, and you need to go hunt down another ship to bring it back to shore. For me, though, I thought I, you know me, I don't build attraction on first looks. I build attraction on getting to know someone. Well, that's why you got to get to know them. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but this is my problem. I, in my head, like say for instance, I know someone I was talking to. It starts talking to me and I'm thinking, well, I don't like you, like, in that way. So well, I'll then block you, go, then you, you know, 
you know, you just say, well, look, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, you know, and you tell him. But there is going to be a stage in your life where you're going to have to realise that, that, that it is gone. No, whether that's tomorrow, next week, next year, you know, 30th birthday. Why did you say? Out of all numbers, why did you choose 30? And don't you dare say because I'm close. What, what do you mean? Why, why, did you, why did I choose 30? Out of all the birthdays you could have chosen, you, why did you choose 30? It's just the first one I thought of. Why does, that have, does that have a me? Does that have a meaning? Well, yeah, you, you, I'm closer to twenty than thirty, and you're rounding upwards to thirty. Yeah, so I like that. Could have gone like twenty-five, twenty-seven. Did have to steep so high and skip half it, half a decade. You know, you're going to have to fetch a move because it's just going to keep dragging and dragging and dragging it down and you won't realise it until it's too late to the point where you have lost everyone because you never listened and then you'd be all by yourself and you'd be thinking I wish I would have listened and do you want to know how I know that? Could you I've do it? been there myself yeah but you've seen that you didn't like her either so yeah, but I've been in the, I've, I've been I've been I've been in this situation before, where I where I liked the person, but didn't want to let them go, and then it ended up coming and stabbed me in the back. You know, it's... how can't be as far as mine. Well, no, you know, she took me for my money, didn't she? And I was too stupid to realise it because I was I liked it too much. And everyone was telling me, oh no, no, oh no, no, you got to do this, you got to do that, leave it, she's no good. I was like, no. And then eventually it kicked in. This is what I'm saying to you. And eventually you're going to wake up and one, one day realise that, you know, you, you need to move on with your life. Or I wake up and I'm 17 and I'm. Still single. Oh, all that. It's like, it's, it's, like, it's like holding on to a grudge. The more you hold on to that grudge and never let it go, the more it's going to eat you up, and the more you're going to think about it, the more depressed you're going to get. And the more upset, the more everything's just going to change. Wait, I'll hold a grudge so, for life. As soon as you let that grudge go, if it, you know, the weight's been lifted off, you know, you can move on, you know. It's like you've been—it's like you've been untied from something that's been weighing you down. Hell no, I think a grudge is better. Yeah, but a grudge—it's the same as you know, like a grudge. Holding a grudge can destroy your life and destroy your friendship with other people. It has. Well, there you go then. I'm, I'm grateful for it because I don't want to be friends with anymore. I didn't mean the friends. I didn't mean friendship. You have to grudge against I mean other friends. What do you mean? But if you think about it, if you have, a, if you hold a grudge against someone, right, and you hold that grudge for a long time, the more you hold it, the more frustrating, the more like, depression it's going to get, which means your family, your friends, you know, instance me, will pick up on that and try to tell you, but it wouldn't be. Do you think get... I tell my family half the shit I tell you? Are you well, mental? No, no, but see, this is what this is where this is why I think I mean I don't know if you're still streaming. Well, I of can't. course I am. I have not been asked to pick up my controller like properly. I'm still driving one-handed. But you know, this is this is this is generally it's coming from me, coming from a friend. Why I think you are the way you are today. Because you've hold grudges, you've hold grudges, you've hold the same thing in for so long, for so many years. You know, the love, the hate, the grudges. It's eating you up physically, mentally. And that's why I think you're in the place you are today. 
because you've hold, held on to it for that long. Now imagine what twenty. Saying, imagine my, my mental place ain't great. Well, is it? I don't know. I think it is. Well, it isn't in the best. It isn't in the best of places, is it now? Well, it's, it's in a pretty fine motion. You know, you know, imagine holding this, hold, hold, holding onto this, this, the, the, the ship, and everything else for the next twenty years. You know, you're gonna be dead and buried. It's gonna drive you, uh, drive I'll, you that I'll, mad. Or hold on to a grudge until I die. And that's that's the problem because life's too short for that. No, we aren't. I hold a grudge against her, my, my uncle's wife. But actually, shame my aunt. He's a fucking prick. See, that's the like, life too short for that. Nah, it's fine. I don't have to see her anymore ever again, which is good. The thing is, one day you're gonna realise the people you hold a grudge against. You see, like, yeah. you could hold, you could hold a grudge against. So when you really hate in a couple of years' time, they could be the only person left. Of course, you've got that grudge, you'll be all by yourself, and they'll get even more depressed. And that person will try to help, but you refuse it. It's, you know, it's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like having weights and cement bricks tied to your feet, and you've been chucked in the water. You know, everything that's weight is slowly dragging you down. Yeah, you know, if you let it go, you break out, you come to the top, and it's, you know, you, it's a breath of fresh air. Or you keep you keep hold of it, and you stay drowned for the rest of your life. And that's where the love factor comes into as well. Because it's the exact same thing. I'll, I'll give you... If someone we, or me, we meet up... I'll give you my phone, I'll give you free range to do whatever you want. So, for for a little bit. But, be warned, if you go crazy, won't be happy. Mate, you give me free range and I'll do what's been needed to be done the past, past couple of years I've known you. <laughs> what, what do you mean? And one of them. I thought I was... One of them is letting all your emotions out some certain person but coming from you instead of coming from me that 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 no no that no, that'd be one weight lifted off of you which yes you'd feel nervous about but after an hour you'd be like you know, it's out there now there's nothing you can do about it and that'll play on your mind and it'll make you feel better and then if not I I'll be take you I'll be take you on the album and get you someone. Because you know what I think another reason is why you don't want to let go of the certain person? What? Because you've never actually had a proper girl that's looked after you the way she did in school. True. Like you've not you've never had that. That's why you've always stuck that one. That's why you've always looked at her, because you never had anyone else do that for you. So you don't know, you don't know what it's like. But anyway, thanks for tuning in with tonight's episode of Counselling with Josh. Uh, I'm free of charge. What do you, what do you mean? You call, you mean oh, call 0800 267 39 Four seven. I right, go onto my website, counsellorjosh.com. Thank you and good night. But well, hang, hang on a second. What were what you, what you chatting with? This is this is a ramble podcast. We we ramble. Mate, I was ramble. I, I was I was talking serious. I was just talking like I did. What I'm trying to play a brick in GTA Five. Hey, I'm buddy. Give I'm buddy being serious, mate. Giving you a serious pep talk. You know, because one thing you you got to realize as well, 
one day you are literally going to be by yourself. I ain't going to be here forever. Well, like, you're going to be around for... Your grandparents, your grandparents aren't going to be there forever. Yeah, well, your brother's going to be around for years. You're going to be by yourself at some point. You know, there's going to be one point where I meet someone and I need to, you know, leave Xbox Live behind to focus on kids and whatever not. And there's going to be a stage in your life where you're going to be by yourself and... If you leave it too late, then there's nothing you need to do about it. Because you're really tall, you know, to make people depressed, don't you? I just speak the truth, mate. I speak the truth. I speak what needs to be spoken about. This is meant to be all fun, this podcast, and you've made it all depressing. Well, I've, I've made it very therapeutic for you. Therapeutic? You've, you've got my head rattled. With what? See? It worked, didn't it? Because now I've got you thinking. That's the whole point about it. Point. I think I think you guys heard enough of this. Uh, yeah. Don't know how I was saying this one. A bit weird. Uh, yeah, shit. I forgot to say. When we're doing the Premier League predictions, if we get all 20 correct, we're doing a £50 wager. So if I get all 20 correct, Josh gives me 50 quid. If he gets all 20 correct, which he won't, I give him 50 quid. I bet I'm closer to, I bet I get mine closer to what you do. And at the end of the season, we'll do a podcast where we tally up, you know, like, how we got right, how many we got wrong, and we'll see who got the most correct. But yeah, thank you for watching, catch you on the next one, peace. Where is my love?